वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एल बी टीचिंग यू अबाउट सोल्वर ऑप्शन सो अर्लियर यू हैव डन गोल सिक ऑप्शन नाउ दिस सोल्वर ऑप्शन इज मोर एलोब्रेट फॉर्म ऑफ गोल सिक सो डिफरेंस ना वॉट्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन गोल सिक एंड सोल्वर ऑप्शन नो इन गोल सिक वी वर हैविंग Uh, multiple equations or multiple results by changing only one variable but with solver we can change multiple variables to get the result so it will be more clearer as we will do practical so directly i'll be taking you towards the practical so here is the same example which i have covered with the help of goal seek now with the help of solver if i want to do the same now suppose this uh, principal rate time and i want to calculate the interest now the same thing i want to do instead of goal seek now i want to use solver so how i have to do it i have to go to tools now here is solver so if i click on solver now here you could see target cell now target cell is same this is the target cell now suppose uh, there are different options maximum minimum and value so i'll explain with the next example about maximum and minimum but just now i am using the value suppose i want interest as 20000 okay and by changing the cell just now i am changing only one variable and i am clicking here now this i'll delete what are the default values so if i click uh, these values also i'll delete now if i click on solve now result is Twenty thousand, and it has. That means my interest, what I was wanting, it is in front of me, and principal, it is given something like sixty-six thousand six hundred and sixty-six point six six. So here are two options: keep result and restore previous. So I can change that also. Okay, I hope the use of solver is clear to you. Now going with another example. now i am taking the distinction example earlier i have done this with so, uh, goal seek now i am using solver so that it becomes easier for you to differentiate between both now this i have done earlier with goal seek now here in subject 1 semester 1 semester 2 semester 3 and semester 4 somehow i want to have 90 90 percentage of marks assuming that each one is having of 100 like 100 100 100 100 so here solver can help me a lot because in goal seek only i can change one option either semester 3 or or either semester 4 if you are not clear please go back to my previous tutorial of goal seek now here i am changing two of my variables that means the marks so i am going to tools then solver now firstly target cell always i have to select this one where my formula is there formula is what i am just adding all the marks means uh, and uh, calculating the percentage this i have already explained what formula i have used in uh, my previous tutorial and after that value i have already told that uh, i am taking the value as uh, suppose 90 because i want 90 percentage by changing cells now this is little interesting now i'll just click it and i want to take these both the cells these both the cells i have selected 
that means both the cells I want to change and value overall is 90 and suppose now I want to solve let's see if I want to solve it what happens here it has given the value as 190 and in semester 40 so practically it is not possible so that means some further updations I want to do because I can't get more than 100 so I click on here restore previous now with this uh, options what I have selected now I want to do some uh, limiting conditions like here in cell reference now suppose semester 3 I am getting 0 here I have to assume that how many marks I need or how much marks I can get so I'll just click it I'll just select semester 3 and then again back and here suppose I feel like in semester 3 I can get at least 95 or less than 95 that means maximum 95 not more than 95 so I'll select this and then the second value now this is which one this one now again I am shrinking and now I am selecting this one semester 4 in semester 4 I feel like I can get 98 ok so now I am limiting the conditions now I will click upon solve what do you see that I am able to get 90% if I am getting 90% 95% in semester 3 and same 95% in semester 4 I hope it is clear again I click on restore previous just to show you how, how I have done it that here in this re cell reference where 0 was there I was expecting at least 95 suppose I change the value to 94 and now I'll solve you could see here what each has done here because semester 3 I have given that maximum 94 I can get now semester 4 it is automatically adjusted to 96 so I can keep the result or restore previous now at the top there are two options maximum that means maximum how much optimize result to the maximum suppose I click here maximum now I'll click on solve so what the result it is showing 90.5 that means it is taking the maximum marks what I was thinking like here 94 and here 98 so both the marks the maximum marks it has taken and then my percentage can go up to 90.5 and if I click on minimum so minimum already is 42.5 so it should give that so see it has done nothing 42.5 so I hope all the conditions maximum minimum and value is very much clear value gives the exact marks what I have planned so I'll click on solve keep result so you could see that I have worked upon multiple variables the same case now suppose I am okay the, it's nearly same now suppose I want to change three variables these three variables I'll just uh, delete it now I want to get suppose 92 92 percentage the same way I'll go to tools solver it's same value I want suppose 92 by changing the cells now I want to change with three variables one two three these three so I've selected and then uh, this one s that means uh, b9 now this is b9 again I'll select to show you okay this one b8 now also less than I think so that I can get here till 95 
then here I can get to 94 and third one here I can get up to suppose 92 okay I'll just make it to 97 so three conditions these are the conditions what I have set you can even pause and uh, just write down the values then I can click on solve so I can get the result by changing three values so I hope the use of solver is very much clear to you you know how to use the solver option the same way you can calculate the values of uh, subject 2 subject 3 subject 4 it's same now taking the third example like salary uh, this also earlier I have told with goal seek now if I want to use with the uh, solver now what I have done what the formula I have used here just to add now I want that somehow my gross salary should be let it be 25,000 I, I can, can use the solar option here and now target cell target cell value suppose I want somehow 25,000 and uh, by changing cells same way I can change all the cells now these values I will delete Now, if I click on solve, it will not give me the proper result. Practically, I will explain you how. If I click on solve, you could see it. Although it is giving 25,000, but it has changed the whole value in salary only. DA, HRA, 0, 0 it has made. So, what I could do, I have to give the conditions here also. Suppose, I can give the condition here, that means... That means uh, B2, I could select less than is equal to, let it be 15,000. This one DA, less than is equal to 6,000. And then the third one, HRA. I can give the condition to let it be 5000 and solve. So see if I click on keep result, so it has changed the values. So my main motive to clear you about solver is fulfilled. Still if you have any doubts, please leave a comment. So, okay, bye-bye, take care.